Are you a Windows user and thinking to switch to Linux and got confused to choose which distro is the best for your workflow? That's exactly why I'm here to show you guys some of the best Linux distros in 2021 that you should use if you are planning to switch to Linux from Windows. Now these distros which I will be showing in a moment are crafted so deeply that will make a Windows user easily adapt to the Linux environment seamlessly. It may let you customize the desktop according to the requirements and provides the cutting edge benefits of open source software and security. Hey guys, my name is KSK Ryle. In this video, I will show you the top 5 amazing best Linux distros for Windows users. Now make sure to watch the video until the end without missing anything and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider by hitting the bell icon to get notified. Now let's get into the video. Now starting with the number 1 in the list, Zorin OS. Zorin OS is an alternative to Windows designed to make your computer faster, more powerful, and secure. It is one of the refined, underrated Linux desktop OS which features a GNOME desktop environment. Aesthetically, Zorin OS user interface is eye-pleasing. From beginners to high-end users, everyone will appreciate the UI of Zorin OS. It is super user-friendly and gives a level of comfort that you can't even get on any desktop Linux. Now, those who are expertised in Windows will easily able to adapt the UI without the need of freaking out. Talking about features, Zorin OS comes with the dock, launchpad, app store, desktop pages, and more. The all new dock is fully customizable. You can add as many applications as you want to the dock. When it comes to core UI features, Zorin OS offers a dark theme, accent colors, and desktop layouts. Now this way you can customize the UI as per your liking. Zorin OS is based on Ubuntu and uses an APT and Debian package mechanism to install a software programs. Unlike other distros, Zorin OS offers a multiple editions for different users. The Ultimate Edition, Core Edition, and Light Edition. The Ultimate Edition uses an XFCE desktop environment, which is a paid OS, offers a premium desktop layouts, business and media applications, as well as 20 games pre-installed out of the box. So if you can't afford Ultimate, you can choose Core Edition, which uses a GNOME desktop environment, the one which I recommend the most. And the Lite Edition is for the PC with a bare minimum hardware. Now overall, I would say Zorin OS is a beautiful, user-friendly Linux distribution that runs super smooth on your PC or laptop. Number 2, KDE Neon. Now, KDE Neon is the brand new distro developed by KDE, which is based on Ubuntu long term support releases and comes together with the Plasma desktop along with other KDE software.
KDE Neon is made specifically for KDE users. As it only accepts KDE applications and cannot run non-KDE programs. The plus side of this feature is that it regularly receives updates and it usually the first to experience newly developed KDE applications. Since it also employs Plasma as its default desktop environment, Neon is extremely lightweight and has a very attractive visual appearance with stunningly beautiful icons, mesmerizing animations, and polished widgets. You should use a KDE Neon if you want the latest and greatest from the KDE community. Now speaking about the Plasma desktop, which sits on the top of Ubuntu, Plasma desktop from the KDE community is a smart, effective, and a beautiful environment from the very first time you start using it. Now take a look at the bottom panel, which has a pre-configured, which has a start menu, is a place where you can find the installed applications. Now along with that, the system controls on the bottom right are very similar to Windows 10 and give a true satisfaction to an end user. The built-in light and dark themes applied throughout the system looks incredible. Using KDE Neon, Plasma and KDE applications will be continuously updated so no more waiting is required. Since KDE Neon is based on Ubuntu, it allows downloading any package right from the terminal using an APT package manager. Now in one word, whatever the commands that can be entered on Ubuntu will be the same as in Neon. In addition to the Discover Software Center, Neon has more options and more support for other package managers such as Flatpak. Now, overall, I would say KDE Neon is a mixed version of Ubuntu LTS with a Plasma desktop that brings a pure Plasma experience with incredible support from the KDE community that receives a software update for more than three years. Number 3. Linux Mint now, Linux Mint is a modern, elegant and comfortable operating system that is both powerful and easy to use. It is an operating system that meets your needs efficiently without any complications. It has a graphical environment very similar to Windows which facilitates the migration process. It is ideal for anyone who wants a change and start in the world of free software. Linux Mint guarantees the Windows user using a very familiar experience. You can choose between a different graphical environments adjusted to the resources you have on your personal computer. The default Cinnamon is a friendly user interface which is very close to the Windows desktop. If you are coming from Windows, the transition will be very comfortable and easy. It's very simple to operate and a Windows user can easily understand the UI and get started with their workflow in a few minutes. Also, Linux Mint offers an end user to customize the desktop how it should look by providing a easy to use options. You can easily change the look of the desktop by using a pre-installed themes. Along with that, you can change the icons and more. 
Now compared to Ubuntu, Mint simplifies the end user to customize the desktop hassle-free. Since Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu LTS, you can download a thousands of free applications from the App Store or you can use the terminal to download any package with the help of APT Manager. Now overall, I would say Linux Mint is a powerful and robust operating system that simplifies the user experience. It comes preloaded with the useful applications. Now along with that, there are a bunch of media playback codecs pre-installed that can be used to play any video or audio without the need for third-party applications. Now performance-wise, this distro can easily run on any older hardware and use fewer resources that indeed delivers the lag-free user experience. Number 4 Ubuntu Ubuntu is everyone's favorite and the most user-friendly popular Linux distro. Ubuntu is one of the best Linux distros for getting started into the Linux operating system. Now, this distro has gained huge popularity in the Linux industry and thanks to the growing community of Ubuntu for working immensely to improve the system. Ubuntu comes with GNOME as a default desktop which looks very minimal and provides a super fast, lag-free user experience. Throughout the system, while navigating, you may feel the OS seem to be very optimized better than any other distro out there. Now, along with a GNOME desktop, you do get a GTK-based applications such as Thunderbird Mail, Firefox browser, Office Toolkit, Media Player, and more. Now, all these basic pre-installed applications lets you get started working with Ubuntu. Since Ubuntu is based on Debian, you can use the APT package mechanism to download a free software via terminal. Another way to download software is through the App Store. Ubuntu App Store provides a ton of free applications that you can download for free. Now overall, I would say Ubuntu comes with a long-term support release, meaning once you install the software on your computer, you will be able to get the software and security patches for up to 5 years. Now this keeps your system up to date and all the latest features will be updated to the system from time to time. For those who are looking for high stable Linux distro just like a Windows OS with incredible community support, then Ubuntu is a sweet spot to get started tasting Linux. And the last but not the least, number 5, Manjaro Linux. 
Now Manjaro is one of the best Arch-based Linux distros that provide a high-performance desktop experience. Now I would say this is the best in class when it comes to power. If you're coming from Windows 10, Manjaro is going to be the best supplement for your necessities. For new users, I would suggest installing a GNOME edition of Manjaro that is very easy to use. It resembles a quite similar look to Windows UI and is much responsive. The built-in layout application lets you choose a different layouts of the desktop that makes user experience more flexible. The standard GNOME layout explicitly looks similar to Windows UI. It features a start menu where you get to see all of the applications in the system. Along with that, you can see a taskbar as well as system controls. Also, Manjaro has a huge collection of software available in Arch repositories. You can either use a command line tool called Pacman to install any package, or you can use a graphical tool to download and install any software. The team of Manjaro has simplified the way of installing ThoughtBody software in a much easier way. You don't need to download any software from the browser and extract to install. Now instead, they made available from the software center. This would be pretty useful for beginners to download any package or install any package along with the dependencies very easily. Now one thing I like about Manjaro, it provides a way to install any kernel right from the built-in system application called Manjaro Settings. Now overall, I would say, unlike any other Linux operating systems, Manjaro Linux provides a full control over your hardware without any restrictions, and this is the number one Arch-based Linux distro that you can use blindly. And that's pretty much it, and these are my top 5 amazing best Linux distros for Windows users. So let me know which one you are going to use, comment down below. So if in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more awesome content. Thanks for watching this video. It's been KSK Ryle. I will catch you in my next video. Peace.